evening everybody, it's time for Sunday School again. I've been joined by my furry friend today. Um, this week is our last session on our miracle series and we're going to look at a very famous miracle. I wonder if you can guess which one it might be. Let's have a look at the video now. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. The crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Right, everyone, sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Okay, a question for you children. How many people were fed in the story? Who provided the food? Even though we call this the story of feeding the 5,000, we don't actually know how many people it really fed. The Bible tells us that the total number counted did not include women and children. The bread and fishes were shared between the many, many people that came from a boy who was there little boy gave the food that he had to Jesus and then the miracle happened. The food was shared and shared till everybody had had as much as they wanted. There were still some left over. Do you know how many baskets were left over? I wonder if it told, told us in the story. Why don't you have a think and discuss at home about what you have as a family and what you could share with others? The little boy in the story bought what he had and gave it to Jesus to use. We all have things that God can use and multiply to bless others. This could be physical things like food, clothes or resources. It could be talents or skills that are in us which we can share with others. Or it could be spiritual gifts that can be used to bless those around us. One of the things the church does, did you know that they ran a food bank? Maybe as a family, you could give to the food bank. Details of this can be found on our website and you, or you can get in touch with Reverend Mark or even help in other ways. I've left something on our Facebook page and our um, website that might help you think of some of the physical, active skills, talents and spiritual gifts you could use to help others. I've also left a craft which will remind you of our story and it's about the five loaves and two fishes. And you can hang that in your room to remind you of Jesus's miracle. I've also left some activity sheets there for you to do if you want to. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the story of feeding of the 5,000 and the little boy who shared what he had with those around him. Help us to recognise all the things you have given us and to be willing to share them with those around us. We pray for all those in the world who are struggling and do not have enough to eat. We pray as well for those who work at food banks and community fridges 
to enable them to help others. Amen. Now, this is our last Sunday school as we're having a break over the summer, but our Sunday morning services will be family based. So why don't you tune in to those and have a listen to what Reverend Mark has to say. We'll see you all again in September. Have a good summer, everybody. Bye.